All right, so here we go. My video on cold calling. You guys have requested this. You've asked me, you know, how do I do my cold calls? Uh, can I share my method? Here it is. Now with YouTube, I think there's a lot of good content on different topics, but with cold calling, I don't really um, connect with many of the cold calling videos on YouTube. The method that a lot of other people are using, I find really spammy. I find that it takes up way too much time, that it takes up way too much energy, and it's just not gonna work for normal people. So if you're someone who can dial a thousand numbers a day, and you want to do that fine you know there's other videos on that i'm going to show you my method that takes a lot less time uh much better success rate and it works for normal people i'm an introverted person i don't want to be on the phone getting rejected every 10 seconds i want to have a good success rate i want to do a little bit of work and get a lot of results for the work that i do so this is going to be the method that i use to basically make it easy on myself to have a really good success rate without doing crazy amount of work without using a huge script without being a completely different person on the phone than I am normally. So this is a, a good method for a normal person to get good results using cold calling. So basically, let's get into it. Uh, I kind of just said what I was going to say on this thing already, but this is an easy method. There's no weird or spammy stuff. A lot of these cold calling videos on YouTube, I don't know, to me, they seem like they wouldn't really work in the real world or that it's going to take like hundreds of phone calls just to get one sale or that it's for kind of services or products that I don't relate to. I mean, if you're selling, I don't know, insurance and you're just going to get out the phone book and call every person, okay, you know, you do you. But for me, with my freelancing business, when I'm selling web design, I don't want to destroy my reputation. I don't want to come across as this really aggressive, salesy, spammy person. So my method, easy to use. Um, it's for normal people introverted people this is something i think anyone can do and do pretty easy you're not going to get stressed about it you're not going to get worked up it's not something crazy that you have to psych yourself up to do uh, when we get into it you'll see why it's so easy uh, no crazy tactics no pushy selling and at the max it takes one to two minutes per call which you might wonder well how am i going to sell something one to two minutes we'll get into that you know there's kind of stages to this the first call is going to be one to two minutes so that's it if you're ready to go let me know let's jump into it if you have any questions let me know below uh, if you like this sort of content definitely subscribe give me a comment give me a like or something uh, it helps promote the video so <clears throat> normal cold calling this is the method that we see on youtube a lot this is a method that a lot of you know gurus or whatever you want to call them that they like to push for me i don't like this method for my business what i'm selling web design i just don't think that it works that well if at all and basically the method is you have a potential prospect. So, you know, wherever you're getting this person from, from a Google search, from a phone book, from a list of people that you're going to call, you have a potential prospect. You call them and you basically start trying to sell straight away. So, hey, you know, this is da -da -da company. Uh, I'm seeing if you're interested in these services. You know, I want to talk to you right now. And you basically push for the full call and the sale and you try and close them as much as you can on the phone call. Ideally, you know, I've seen some of these videos on YouTube. They're trying to get their credit card details on the same phone call. I just think it's so spammy. It's really, really aggressive. And I don't think for, you know, what I'm offering a freelance service, it's going to work because you need to have this proper big phone call. If you're calling people out of the blue, they don't know who you are. They don't trust you. They've never heard from you before. You're trying to get, you know, $1,000, $5,000, $10,000 off this person within a few minutes. It's just going way too fast. It's way too much. No one makes a buying decision like that. They're not just gonna answer their phone, have a conversation with a random person and agree to move ahead with some huge service. Maybe if you're selling something really small and you don't mind making hundreds of phone calls, you can make this method work. But for me, this method is just super spammy, uh, really aggressive, and it's not gonna work for what I'm selling and the type of person that I am. Also keep in mind, a lot of people promoting this method on YouTube they have a sales department, so they'll hire someone or multiple people to sit at a computer all day and just do calls like this. They're basically playing a numbers game. But when you're running your own business, especially a freelance business, you don't have time to be calling all the time. You actually have to produce your work. You got to make something to get paid as well. So you're your own sales department, which means that you want to keep your selling to the smallest amount of time possible. You don't want to be selling four days a week all day just to get one sale you know when are you going to create the product or the service that you're selling uh, your business isn't going to be so profitable if it's taking you a long time to sell so for this method you know the normal method that you see on youtube 
I'm just not a fan of this. You guys can let me know in the comments what you think, but for me, it's just not gonna work because you don't have, people just aren't gonna give you the time in the first phone call to have this proper conversation that can lead towards a sale. And you're going too fast and you're assuming too many things that you can get this person to trust you, to connect with you, that you can find something that they need, that you can price it perfectly, uh, that you can offer them exactly what they need in this first phone call out of the blue. You know, that person could be working, they could be driving, they could be dealing with a customer, uh, they could be busy. So for me, it's just not realistic. So my method is a little bit different and I think uh, way more successful. We'll call it the Fox method, <laughs> but basically, you know, potential prospect, however I found this person, if I do a Google search, if I am um, working through a niche, if I found a list somewhere, maybe, you know, whatever it is from a city services website and I can see, okay, these are potential prospects. The first thing is I'll screen my prospects. So I won't just get a list of numbers and start dialing. I'll see, okay, who's the most suitable, um, who looks like the best business to contact and if I can, you know, find out a name, if I can find out some details. So I'll do a little bit of research before I jump ahead. And basically the method here is once I find out who I'm going to call, I give a very quick call and we'll get into it in a second what exactly happens on that call. But the goal of this quick call is just introduce myself, um, you know, one or two minute phone call, introduce myself, tell them what I'm about, tell them why I call them. You know, this is, we'll get into it in a second, but this is the value of, um, you know, you may be having a business relationship with me. And then I request that I can send them more information and I wrap up the call. So I'm only aiming to have a one or two minute phone call. After that phone call, I send the additional information, usually an email. Uh, in that email is some high value stuff. We'll get into this, uh, some links to different projects that I've done, what I'm hoping to helpfully, uh, hopefully uh, add value to their business. And then what I'm trying to do is through the two of these to get time for a proper phone call. So an hour long phone call, usually where I can go through everything, find out what their business is struggling with, find out what challenges they have, what they're trying to do, and then during this phone call, uh, get enough information, build enough connection, build enough trust to wrap up the phone call, send them you know, the project plan, what I'm gonna provide um, an invoice and basically recap the phone call so they know that it's relevant to them, that this is something that is suitable, that you know, they're gonna feel good about going ahead and paying for this because they understand the value, they understand that I understand their business and then I'll close them. So there's multiple steps in this. Um, I've posted some sales calls on my channel in the past. They're from this stage because this phone call here uh, is so fast. It's just, I don't really post these. It's like a one, two minute phone call. But once I've done this, I send the additional information and you know, not everyone is going to agree, but the people who do agree and they get on this bigger phone call, they're much more prepared to have a proper conversation that I can sell to them in. So this method is much different to the past method. Past method is just like the first phone call they're trying to close. This method, you break it up. I think it's way more logical when you're calling businesses, you don't know what they're doing. You don't know what state of mind they're in and you have to account for the fact that they don't trust you yet. They don't know you. Uh, you just call them out of the blue. So to try and quickly get into a selling conversation, you're just moving way too fast. So what I prefer to do is just have this really quick introduction phone call We'll get into it on this next page here, exactly what it is. Quick introduction phone call. Hey, it's Rob, this is why I called you. This is what I'm hoping to let you know about. We'll cover this in just a moment. High value thing. Uh, I wanna send you more information about it. Does that sound good? Okay, cool, I'll send it to you today and we can go from there. Send the email with the additional information and then back and forth with email, set up a time, get on this proper phone call have the full sales phone call, and I'll link to exactly the method that I use here. It was in last week's video, have this proper phone call, and then I send um, an email that basically recaps the phone call, it has a project plan, and then if it's suitable, I'll send an invoice as well with that email, and then I move to a close. This is a method that I've used so many times so successfully. It's really, really easy. I'm naturally introverted. I don't want to be spamming random business owners in the first phone call and feeling like, a jackass basically calling these people, hey, you know, buy this website, da da da. I want to do it in a high value way. So for me, this is high value. I'm not annoying the business owner, but I'm getting on their radar. Once they accept that I'm going to send them more information, 
I do send them more information, they can check it out when it's suitable for them. They can see that what I'm saying is real, that it's high value, that it has the potential to help them. Then we can go back and forth. We can set up this proper phone call at a time that suits them. They're prepared. They're pre-sold on having this phone call. We have the proper phone call, and if it goes well, we can move forward and we can make a deal together. So let's get into this quick phone call, what exactly I'm doing here, how it works, and how you guys can use it as well. So, you know, any questions on this? If I went too fast on something to this stage, let me know in the comments, let me know what you think. So the quick phone call is really, really simple. I don't really use a script, but I have like a kind of common way to do it, almost like a conversation you might have with uh, like a shop owner, someone in the gym, you meet them every day, you're used to having the conversation, you don't have a script, you know, hey, how is your day? You just know that conversation. So for me, it's broken down into just a few basic parts. I'm gonna have an intro, so, hey, how's your day going? Uh, it's Rob, you know, da 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 business, just reaching out to you. And then straight away, within literally a few seconds, I'm gonna get into the value of why I'm calling them. So, you know, hey, it's Rob, uh, I work for, you know, or I have this business. Why I'm calling you is I've been working with a similar business to yours, so I'm tying it in, I'm making it relevant. I've been working with a similar business, and basically I'll share the past results here. So, um, past results that are really like appealing to a business owner. So, I've been working with a similar business to yours, and we just got you know sales up to 20,000 consistently a month. Um, I saw you guys are also, and then again, I'm trying to make something relevant. This is gonna be different to every business, but I saw you guys are also using your website to attract new customers, and I just wanted to send you some more information about how I got these people those results and how I think we might be able to do something similar as well. Does that sound good? Cool. So what I'll do is I'll send you over an email. If you like it, we can communicate back and forth, and we can go from there. Any questions? Cool, okay, thanks for your time, bye. That's like the really basic version. Now, usually what happens when you actually call is you're gonna have more of a real conversation. So, hey, it's Rob, you know, I'm calling from this company. I wanted to reach out to you. I've been working with a similar business. Um, we got them these results and I saw you guys are also doing, you know, something similar on your own website or with your own business. That's why I called you. Uh, I wanted to share with you, you know, how we got these results and what has been working well with this other project and what I think uh, you guys could be doing to you know, get more sales, get more customers, get more clients, whatever it is. Then usually they'll ask you a few questions. Oh, hey, you know, da, da, da. they'll get into a natural conversation, a little bit of back and forth, but you just stick to your plan. So you answer whatever questions they have. If they engage you in conversation, perfect, a bit of back and forth. You can tell them more details. You can get into this in more detail. Um, maybe they're gonna ask you where you're based. Um, maybe they're gonna ask you where you found their phone number. But the fact that you're making it relevant, so it's a similar business, sometimes you can say, I see you guys are based in the same area. That's gonna help a business owner just feel like it's not random, which is what you're trying to do here. You're trying to make them uh, realize that you're not just picking numbers out of a phone book, that there's a reason you call them. So it's a similar business. I see you guys might have a similar problem. I wanna send you some relevant info. It's all feeling very personal to the business owner, which is the big thing here. So personally introduce yourself. You make it personal, personal and relevant and valuable to them. You just simply, you know, your goal of this conversation is to just get permission to send them more information. Uh, once you get that permission, you can ask them or confirm their email address. So <clears throat> maybe you found the email address on the website. So, you know, I just want to check, is it info at yourbusiness.com? Is that suitable to send the email to? Or, you know, is it Jake at your business, whatever? Confirm the email address, sound good, cool, I'll send it to you. Um, any other questions you got for now? Or will I just send on the email? Basically wrap up the phone call and this whole thing here is like one to two minutes. A cool thing is if you're a little bit nervous, if you don't feel like you're that good at cold calling, this method can work to your advantage in a big way because this is a natural sounding method. And the reason I don't have a script here is I don't really wanna give you guys a script because it's gonna go against the point of using this method. The point of this method is to sound like a normal person who calls a business for a reason, who sounds like a normal person, and who has some sort of high valuable, um, high value relevant thing to say to this business. This is where a lot of other methods, to me, come off really weird. You're reading a script that someone else wrote. 
it's not in the tone that you'd normally write, it's not you know, exactly relevant to your industry or to your niche, it's like a huge page that you're trying to rush through. Very, very simple method. Intro, introduce yourself, let them know why you call them, have some sort of value. If it's your first ever project, uh, or sorry, if you're trying to get your first ever sale and you've never worked with anyone before, then you shouldn't be really cold calling. You should just get some sort of project out of your local connections, out of your personal network, um, something in your area, a friend of a friend, a family member, whatever it is, get one project first so that when you contact a business cold calling, you got something to refer to. So, hey, I'm calling you because I helped another construction company just like you guys. They're also trying to do this thing that you guys are trying to do. I got them some great results. I helped them with you know X, Y, Z, and I wanted to reach out to you guys and see if you're similar and, and maybe looking into doing um, the same thing that I helped these guys with. Now, if that sounds good, let me just send you over an email right now, basically. Uh, I got the details in there. You can check it out on your own time. You know, if that sounds good, I can send it right now. What do you think? Basically, that's what you're doing. Really, really simple. So make it relevant, make it valuable, keep it really short. Uh, you're not trying to pressure these people into something big. You're not trying to tell them, hey, I'll send the email and then we can set up a phone call. You're just trying to tell them, hey, I'm going to send an email. I just wanted to call you before I sent you to let you know that, you know, da da da. And basically, the underlying message is that you're a real person who's reaching out to them for a real reason. Once you've done this, wrap it up. You know, does that sound good? Cool. Just want to check the email. Okay, I'll send that over to you and we can take it from there. Thanks for your time. Bye. So, this is it. One, two minutes. Really, really effective. It's effective because you come across as a real person. When they get that email, they're now going to know, oh, this is the person that called me. And you can say that in the subject line, following up from our phone call earlier today or following up from our phone call yesterday or whatever it is. Um, they open up the email and they're like, oh yeah, I know this person, they called me, they seem cool, they had a reason to call me. So now they're going to actually read the email and there's a really high chance that they'll respond. They're at least going to check out what the email says and they're going to check the links and then go from there. So if you do have something that is valuable and is relevant to them, there's a very high chance that they're going to respond to you and they're going to move things forward. The other method where you're just spamming people basically with cold calling, cold emailing, it doesn't work. When people get the cold emails, they don't know who you are. They just think, oh, this is another person who's sending this out to thousands of people. They delete it when they get the cold calls. And this other method, you know, you go straight into selling. They're like, I don't got time for this. Who's this person? You know, who are they calling me? Why? Whatever. So they just want to hang up with this method though. Uh, let me just go back. With this method though, you're setting a really achievable, easy goal. One, two minutes introduce yourself, tell them that you've helped somebody relevant, uh, show them the results, or, you know, tell them the results that you got. Um, the kind of bait or the thing that you're you know, offering is that you're going to send them details on how you got these other people good results, <clears throat> the value of potentially working together. You're going to send them some proof. You're going to send them some links more, more than likely. And then you're going to use that to try and move forwards to get this big phone call. And that's where you can actually sell and you can you know, actually move forward with the process of selling. So this is it. I think it's a really, really easy method. Quick phone calls that lead to an email with additional information back and forth. Maybe it's going to take a few emails. Maybe it takes just one back and forth here with sending more info, um, talking to the business owner, setting up this time for the phone call. When you're ready to go, you jump in with this proper phone call. Check out the other video. I'll explain this in huge detail. And then you move forward with an invoice um, with a recap of the phone call and with a project plan that they can trust, they can see it's valuable, it's relevant to them, uh, they know who you are and they know that you've delivered results to other people in the past. If it's all going well, very good chance that you get to close. So that is it for this video. I know I'm moving super fast with this stuff, but I want to just kind of condense it down for a normal YouTube length video. Uh, any questions though, let me know in the comments below. I can go into more detail. Really hope this makes sense. Really hope that this is an easy method that you guys can use. I know a lot of us freelancers, we don't want to be on the phone all the day. We don't really see ourselves as these super extroverted, high pressure salespeople. This is a method that's really, really good for normal people. You do your 10 phone calls, you know, three times a week. That's 30 normal phone calls. You've got this stage in. Send the additional information. There's another 30, maybe 15 get back to you. 
you go back and forth and maybe you get like two, three sales phone calls lined up from just a couple of quick uh, calls that you can spread out throughout the week. So that is it. Thanks for watching the video. Any questions, let me know. Hit like, hit subscribe if you got value from this and uh, feel free to share it with anyone else who might want help. So catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.